Introducing Megasynth, a hybrid guitar subtractive synth processor that is brand new to Digital Performer. Megasynth is inspired by some classic guitar effects pedals, but it can have extremely musical results on any other kind of material too, including keyboards, vocals, and solos. In this tutorial, we'll take apart Megasynth for you and show you how it's designed and how to tweak it out. The big upper panel here is the routing area, which contains the four voices, filters, and an amp. In a moment, I'll show you how you can add, subtract, and modify routings to create interesting effects. The lower panel is the modulator area, which contains macros and various modulators, like envelopes, LFOs, and a pattern generator. Let's start with the default clear preset. Bill Scott, an accomplished veteran LA guitarist, is in the session with me today. He's still playing, but there's no sound. That's because none of the four sound sources are active yet. To get a simple dry signal, drag from the input to the output. Megasynth draws a line, and now you have a direct in-to-out connection for the dry signal. You can control its gain here, or the gain of Megasynth's master output here. If you want to pass the dry sound through a low-pass filter first, just redirect its signal flow by dragging from the input module to a filter, then from the filter to the output. Then you can use the cutoff and Q knobs to tweak the filter. Now let's get into the other sources. We can add a sub-octave generator to the signal by connecting the sub-octave to the output. Once we've got the sub-octave generator playing, let's play around with a square wave and octave voices too. If you want to remove a routing, just control click it. In addition to the two filters, there's also an amp module, which controls the gain of all signals routed to it, and also pan if you're using a stereo or mono to stereo version of the plugin. Now, let's get into some modulators down at the bottom of the screen. Modulators and macros can connect to and vary the parameters of voices, filters, or amp. Basically, any of the big gray knobs. For a simple example, let's add an LFO to the gain of the dry input of the guitar. After I assign LFO1 to the gain knob, I now get a smaller purple knob that lets me adjust the amount that the LFO is going to modulate the gain. Now that I've got the LFO modulating the gain, I can tweak it out a little with different speeds and shapes. If the LFO is too intense, I can dial it down. If you want to remove the LFO, just click on its name and a pop-up menu will appear with all the possible modulators. Choose none and the LFO will be removed. Now let's take a look at an envelope follower modulator, which opens up all kinds of creative possibilities, especially with WAH style presets. Switching over to the Envelopes tab, there are two traditional envelopes and one envelope follower. Let's drag the envelope follower to the Filters cutoff knob, and then tweak from there to get some gnarly auto wah effects. Pattern Gate is a really fun modulator to play with. Let's reroute the square wave through a filter. Adjust the gains to taste. And then assign the pattern gate to the filter's cutoff. And now tweak out the pattern gate to get some unusual rhythmic filters cut into shards of audio. <laughs> Macros are an easy way to control multiple parameters simultaneously. For example, I can connect Macro 1 to a filter cutoff and also connect it to the amp gain. I can then adjust the effectiveness either in the positive or the negative direction. Now, as I move the Macro knob up, the filter cutoff is going up and the amp gain is going down. 
and as I move the macro knob down, the filter cutoff is going down and the amp gain is going up. Also, don't forget Digital Performer's MIDI Learn function. With MIDI Learn now built into every plugin, it's as easy as clicking the MIDI Learn button, then clicking a knob like the macro knob, toggling a physical controller, and now that parameter can be remotely controlled and automated easily. And that is Digital Performer's brand new subtractive synthesizer in a nutshell, Megasynth. Make sure to play around with the presets which offer some great launching points for complicated routings and interesting musical effects.